So if you're taking a test and the question is asking you to find the exact value for tangent of 22.5 degrees, then most likely you will just be using the half angle identity for tangent, right? Yes, I know it's a very nice formula, but why don't we do this geometrically? Yes, it's possible by just doing some constructions from a special right triangle. And let me show you. And then later on, I will still show you guys the half angle formula way. But anyways, let's have a look right here. 22.5, you should kind of relate that to 45 degrees. And this is how we can do it. Start with the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle, which we know we have 1, 1, and square root of 2. And that is 45 degrees. Very nice, right? Now, this is how we are going to get the half angle. Go ahead and extend this right here. By how much though? As much as this. So just think about this. Rotate it, and you still get square root of 2, like so. And then construct a bigger triangle like this. Now let's do some math. This is 45 degrees. This right here is going to be 135. Because this side is equal to that side, so these two angles are equal, they will add up to 45 degrees. You can also use the exterior angle theorem, either way though. But this is precisely 22.5 degrees. And do we see tangent of 22.5 degrees already? Yes, it's very nice, isn't it? Yes. Here. Look at the big triangle, opposite over adjacent. The whole adjacent is just 1 plus square root of 2, if you read it backwards. But anyways, though, I can say tangent of 22.5 degrees is just 1 over square root of 2 plus 1. Very nice. But as usual, let's rationalize the denominator. Multiply the conjugate, which is square root of 2 minus 1. Now, if you multiply this and that, it's just square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is just a 2. This times that, this times that, just cancel, and this times that is just minus 1. So the base, the bottom, is just 1. So, in fact, all this is just equal to square root of 2 minus 1. And then we are done. So nice, isn't it? Yeah. Now, this is the moment that you guys have been waiting for. We can use the half-angle identity. So the deal is that tangent of theta over 2. I don't have a table, so I cannot put a pen down somewhere anyways. Anyway, theta over 2, this right here is equal to, this is pretty nice actually. On the top, you get sine theta. On the bottom, you get cosine theta. But wait, this is just regular tangent theta. Here is tangent theta over 2. Don't worry, just put 1 plus. This is really nice, very nice. Now, I need to end up with 22.5 degrees instead of tangent, so I have to put down 45 degrees. So let theta equals 45 degrees, then we'll see that tangent of 22.5, it will just be equal to sine of 45 degrees over 1 plus cosine of 45 degrees. Now, sine of 45 degrees, you can just look at this special right triangle. It's the opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over square root of 2. On the bottom, 1 plus. Cosine is adjacent over that. It's also the same as the top. You can simplify this a little bit. Multiply the top and bottom by square root of 2 to get rid of the complex fraction. So 1 over square root of 2 plus 1. And guess what? This is the same as that, which you can end up with square root of 2 minus 1 after you multiply the conjugate, which we did over there already. Very nice, huh? Now, here is a small challenge for you guys. Can you use this strategy to prove that tangent of theta over 2 is equal to sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta? Just that. That's it.